Stop wasting your time learning new editing softwares. I have started using this AI tool to edit my renders and also generate ideas for my projects. Just go to the website render AI. Link is given below. Open the website and this page appears. Now you have to sign in using your Google account. After you sign in, this page appears. Now Render has many features, but the features that I like the most are the edit ones. So we'll, we will start with those. In edit, we have these five different options. First of all, we will try out sketch in context. Just click on it. Now over here, upload an image. I'm going to upload the image of an empty plot that I am designing right now. Just upload the image. Now this is the plot on which I'm designing a house. I'm going to use Render AI to design some cool new ideas for my project. I'm simply going to use the brush tool, adjust the brush size and I'm just going to draw a random sketch on the plot that I'm going to use. Um, it can be something like this. Basically I'm planning a very volumetric kind of a house on my project in my project. So I'll just randomly create a house and let's see how Render designs for me. Just click on done. Now you just have to give it a prompt. I'll just say uh, modern house elevation. Uh, adjust the parameters. Shape size, I'll just reduce it because I just made a random image. I don't want it to follow it 100%. Creativity, let's improve it a little bit. You can add a reference image. Okay, now the number of generations, I generally like to create four generations and just click on generate. It will take a few seconds to generate the image and my image is ready. I have these four different options. Let's see. Um, I like this one. This is also nice. You can just check how it has followed my sketch and my prompt that I gave it. I think these are good iterations that I can present to my client. The fact that they are placed on the site makes them more legit. Now these renders have been created by just random sketching on the plot but I do have a 3D model that I want to place on my site to see how it looks. So I'll just take a screenshot of this model but make sure that the angle of the screenshot is similar to the image so it adjusts in the scene properly. Um, I think this should be my angle looking at the image. So simply just take a screenshot, go to export and 2D graphic and save it. Now go to render and go to insert and modify. The base image is already there so just click on edit. Now we have an option to upload the image to be overlaid. So simply select that screenshot that we just saved and upload it. Now you just adjust the size a little bit. We have this button to remove the background. It takes a little bit time to process the image and the image has been processed. It does not adjust properly on the side but still let's see how it works out. Click on done. Now uh, adjust some basic settings, colors, um, I think I'll reduce it, shape size should be around 45 and creativity looks good around 80. The prompt is fine, increase the number of generations to 4 and click on generate. And my renders are ready, um, looks pretty decent, they can be improved obviously with the more practice as this building is not adjusting completely on site, I could have taken a better screenshot but still it's good enough for me. I think I'll use this image. Um, I would like to edit it for so we have an edit option over here again. Uh, this time I'll go with select and modify. I want to add a bit of greenery over here to make this image a bit better. So I'm just going to use the brush tool. Uh, increase the brush size over here and I'm going to select this. Click on done and I'm gonna give a prompt of add lands with grass and plants number of generations should be 4 and click on generate and see what happens. And my renders are ready. Um, looks a bit more decent this time. I think this one looks a bit uh, better than the rest. I would like to go to edit again and this time remove an object. I'll select the magic wand tool and I'll just select this wall because it's really disturbing me. Number of generations should be 4, click on generate again. Now now it looks better. I think the images have improved drastically. This one looks nice. Let me just compare it with the original one. Yeah, looks better this time. So let's just quickly save the image. Go to download and save it in your computer. 
So let's do a comparison. This was the original site picture and this is what we are proposing to be built on site. It does not look that realistic, but still for idea generation, it's good enough, I think. Now another cool feature of Render AI is virtual staging. It basically generates interior design ideas for us. So let's just upload an empty rooms image. Uh, once the image uploads, uh, type a prompt. I would say uh, bedroom interior with bed and sofa seats. Uh, number of generations should be four. Click on generate. And the renders are ready. They look pretty decent. Remember the detailed your prompt is, the more detailed your output will be. Let's just compare it with the original image. I think it has done a pretty decent job. Now these were the five different edit options of Render AI. It also has create, upscale and video generation options that you can try out on your own. But personally, I like these edit options the most, especially the sketch and context one really inspired me. Now the real question, the pricing of this AI tool. So I'm happy to let you know that it's not that expensive. And also for my subscribers, there is a discount code all you have to do is to subscribe my channel and copy that discount code from below. So I hope you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more informative content. Take care. Goodbye.